Something a bit different this time, in that this isn't technically a Captain Comet game. I guess you could call it a total conversion mod. As you can probably tell if you can read Ukrainian, this is the adventures of Xenia the Young Pioneer. I don't know how accurate that translation is, or if I'm saying her name right. And I can't tell you a lot about it. And what I can tell you is mostly from uncredited sources, or very bad translations, but I'll try to do my best. According to Moby Games, the plot follows Xenia, a young pioneer girl, as she explores the planet Pioneeria in search of Captain Comic. The mod was created by Yuri Leziuk and possibly a team of other programmers, and I don't know if I'm saying that name correctly either, by, according to Moby Games, reverse engineering the code and replacing the original graphics with images familiar to the Soviet people. Based on Google Translate's version of the included documents, I think Yuri's motive was something to do with Americans getting to enjoy video games based on their culture and wanting Ukrainians to have some of their own, and maybe to show the world what Ukrainian programmers are capable of? Apparently the whole thing took four weeks. One to reverse engineer the code, two to redesign the graphics, and then one to get it working properly. Or so I gather, I could have that wrong. The site I got the game from, which I'll link in the description, suggests that Pioneer Xenia may have been the first Ukrainian PC game, and possibly the first video game in the Ukrainian language, but I have no idea if that's accurate. As for the game itself, it plays exactly the same as Captain Comic, but I can't say I care for the graphics much. It's hard to tell what things are, or what's an obstacle and what's scenery, and you might not realise it, I only know because I found out in my first test run, but those blue bits on the ground are all bottomless pits. You can also stand on those lamp posts, but the solid bits don't really match up with the graphics. As you can see here, I'm basically standing in mid-air. And these people here are just background, not enemies or objects of any kind. I guess this is a doorway, but I'll presumably need a key to get through it. And I'll probably want to collect that coin too. I must admit, some of the backgrounds are pretty neat. I like those owls. I'm not sure if this game is harder than Captain Comic, or if I'm just really unfamiliar with it. It does seem harder to get a handle on what to do though and I had no idea that shield was even there. Didn't see it at all. Now this may also be a door, but if so, that means there's two different door styles in the one level. I just cut out a lot of wandering back and forth not knowing what to do there. Still can't get that coin. Unless I do this. Yeah, I should have figured that out sooner. Now I just have to work out what key to press to go through doors. And maybe that wasn't even a door.
This one is though, and we're off to level two. Eventually. And I have no idea what's going on here. Oh, I call bullshit on this. Those are not pits. One life remaining, let's see this through. Jump the pits, dodge the flying scorpions. This level's a lot less interesting than the first. Oh, here we go, level three. It's the seaside. Nice submarine. That's an awkward jump. Hey, I recognize this bit. They haven't even changed it. Well, that was dumb. One more try. Hey, it's the rocket, and another blast all cola. And that was it, whatever it was. Join me next time for one final video.